What's going on everybody? This is Dan Jensen with Remax Park Square and I'm here today to talk to you about renting in New Jersey. That's right, I'm gonna give some love to all the tenants out there and future tenants. Uh, we're gonna take a break from talking about buying and selling and talk about the rental process in New Jersey. So the first thing I wanna talk about when it comes to renting in New Jersey is what are the fees and costs associated with doing so? And when I'm talking about this, I'm obviously talking about listings that are with a realtor and going with a brokerage to find something. Anything that you find on Craigslist or elsewhere, that's a whole different animal. But what you're gonna find is more often than not, the fees up front to move into a place are first month's rent, month and a half security, which is the maximum you can be charged in New Jersey. If you see anything asking you for more than that, it is illegal. In addition to that, the structure in New Jersey commonly seen is that the tenant is responsible for the commission. That commission is one month's rent, and that covers both the tenant's agent and the landlord's agent. Now, this is by no means the law, but that is what you will commonly find. So people coming from out of state, or this is your first time renting, many of them are caught off guard by that. So plan on about three and a half months rent total to move into a place. The second part I want to talk about is the application process. How does that all work? Well, we all know that you're usually going to have a credit check conducted. Um, with things listed with a realtor, it's probably been a couple years since I've seen something not requesting that. So you're going to do an application that does a credit check. The system we use also does a background check, a criminal check, and looks for any lease violations, evictions, things of that nature. So that's going to be asked for on 99% of the listings out there. Uh, they're also going to want to know that you have the ability to pay rent. So if you have a job, that's two recent pay stubs, tax returns. If you're self-employed, you can show a snapshot of your account with deposits. Uh, if you're relocating to the state, an employment letter stating what your position is and what your income is. Things like that will be needed to show that you can pay rent. If you're receiving Section 8 or some kind of assistance, then proof of that assistance will be need needed as well. Um, if you are a person who is maybe in between jobs, but you have a substantial savings account, you can show that as proof of income as well or proof of ability to pay. Uh, the only other thing that you really would need is occasionally there's an interview with the landlord. Um, I've been a part of a few of them. I've never really seen the true benefit of it, but it does happen. Usually just to make sure you're a nice person to work with is really what it comes down to. I've never really seen a lot of hard hitting questions in those interviews, but that might be part of it. Um, and uh, if you do have a service animal, that's something that we're going to need to show paperwork for and uh, show that to the landlord that you have a pet that is a service animal and uh, that, you know, they're registered and all that kind of stuff. That pretty much concludes the application portion. Now that you understand what fees are associated and how the application works, uh, you're ready to search. So when you're going to look for a place, uh, I recommend starting between 60 and 90 days before you need to move in. If you start much earlier than that, most of the inventory is going to be gone by the time you're ready to sign something. And if you start much later than that, you're going to be kind of up against it regarding time to find something. So 60 to 90 days out is like the sweet spot to start looking. So get in touch with your realtor. Uh, talk about your criteria of what you need. Bedrooms, baths, location. Um, like we talked about before, do you have pets? Do you have a service animal? Uh, how many people will be living there in total? Because uh, there are occupancy limits in certain areas. Uh, get all the criteria out there, leave no stern, stone unturned, and let us know everything that you need. Then we will start searching for properties and sending you anything that we can find. Personally, if I'm looking, I'm going to send you things that might be a little outside of your criteria, whether it be a little bit further than you asked, maybe a little bit more or less expensive than you asked, because rentals go quickly and I'd rather give you more options as opposed to too few options. So get in touch with us. We'll talk about everything. We'll start sending you properties. We'll start showing you those properties. Once you're interested in something, we get all that application paperwork together that we discussed. Um, we submit that to the landlord and we wait for approval. It usually takes about 24 to 48 hours to get an answer. Sometimes it takes longer and, you know, we'll stay on top of things. But, you know, if it takes longer, it takes longer. Unfortunately, some people take a while to make a decision. But uh, that's kind of the time frame you're looking at. And... What I recommend is if you're a tenant looking for something, stick with a good realtor who's going to do right by you. If we're going to be out there uh, sending you properties, making appointments, doing showings, uh, we're going to save you a lot of uh, time and effort that you would have to otherwise put in by making those phone calls, reaching out to listing agents or landlords directly. And uh, you're going to really get your money's worth. 
for those who aren't a fan of the fee structure, you're going to get your money's worth if you really stick with that one agent because they're going to do a good job for you and make sure you find the right place. And our goal is, as always, whether it's a sale, a rental, whatever, we want to make sure our customers are happy and they get exactly what they want in the transaction.